Hey boys and girls, it's carpet time, so have a seat and join us. Uh, uh, can I sit on the Z for zebra? Uh, yes, you can sit on the Z on the carpet. Well, can I sit on the S for snake? Absolutely. Uh, how about the E, long E eagle? <laughs> yes, go ahead. All right, those three will have a seat with our other friends. You have a seat too, do a great job. I'm gonna give, be giving a point to somebody on the clipboard, right? Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and start. Um, yesterday was Wednesday. So if yesterday was Wednesday, that means today is, right, Thursday. You can hear the TH and then the UR special sound, er, put it together, Thursday. Okay, Wednesday comes down, Thursday goes up. Let's take yesterday was down. And now let's read our information on the board. The month is May, the season is spring, today is Thursday. Okay, let's head over to the calendar and get today's date taken care of. All right, here comes Mrs. Neve. All right, we have established that it is Thursday, so let's follow our Thursday column down. Here it is, ours our TH for Thursday. Let's see, the 7th was the first Thursday in May. The 14th was the second Thursday, and today is the third Thursday. So we have to figure out the date. Yesterday was the 20th. What comes after 20, and what picture for our May pattern? If you said 21 on the yellow flower, you are correct. Uh, we are into the 20s family of days. Uh, so 20s family starts with a 2. That means there's two sets of 10, right? Because we have 2 in the 10s place. And then 1, 1, 1 in the 1s place. We'll slide it on in there. And we're ready to say today's date. Start with Thursday. Very good. Let's say it together now. Today is Thursday, May 21st, 2020. Good. Um, now, taking a look at the calendar, looking ahead to next week, which is the next row on our calendar, we do have a holiday coming up on Monday, Memorial Day. Let's we'll see if I can get it out of the pocket here. There we go. Memorial Day. Now, if you recall, that is a special day where we have a we remember memorial memory. Remember. We remember soldiers that have fought and died for our country. We want to honor what they have done for us, a big sacrifice. Uh, we also remember and honor uh, loved ones that have died and gone to heaven. So uh, a special day that our country has set aside for that. It is a holiday. And uh, because it's a holiday, uh, no virtual school that day. Uh, keep in mind with, with your planning that school next week will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we will have virtual school on Friday next week. Um, wow, we are getting close to the end of our school year. In fact, uh, Memorial Day is considered the unofficial first day of summer. Uh, people a lot of times have barbecues and uh, things like that on Memorial Day, chance to get outside. Um, but it's not the actual first day of summer. Uh, summer officially starts in June. So next month on June 20th is when summer actually begins. So we are getting towards the end of spring. All right, well, let's head back to our weather chart and figure out the, today's weather. And it is a beauty. Whoops, I better fix Thursday there, huh? We don't want that falling down. There we go. All righty. Wow, we had a rainy day yesterday, didn't we? In fact, I saw on the news, um, the weather forecaster said that we had record amounts of rainfall yesterday. So the rainiest May 20th on record in Spokane. That's pretty cool. Um, today though, let's take a look outside. I see some sunshine out there, uh, some clouds too. So let's go with the uh, partly sunny section of the weather chart. Well, yeah, it's a beautiful day. And then, um, you know, it is a little windy out there. So let's put windy on our weather chart. There we go. And I think we can also go with chili. Let's do chili as well. 
There we are, chilly. Let's find out just how chilly it is. We're going to check the temperature. And, ooh, it is a little chilly this morning. What's our temperature? Now, that might be hard to see because they have a cloud there. But it says 46 degrees, in case you can't see that 6 real clearly. 46 degrees today. So let's get our 46 apple. Here it is, 46. Now, yesterday... It was 55 degrees around this time. So since 46 is less than 55, it's a little bit cooler this morning, a little bit chillier. Uh, I'll get the degree symbol off the 55. We'll put it on the 46. There we go, 46 degrees. All right. Well, I think we are ready to slide over and do the Z-verse. Here we go. Very good. And Mr. Zebra, come on up. Okay, Mrs. Neve. I have to get him off the Z there. <laughs> Here I am. Yeah, Z is my favorite letter. I love sitting on the Z on the rug. Mm -hmm. And I love the Z verse. Let's read it together, boys and girls, three times. I bet you have it memorized already. I bet they do. Okay, three times. Here we go. We'll point to the words, follow along. Zion heard and was glad. Time number two. Zion heard and was glad. Time number three. Zion heard and was glad. Yay! I'm glad too, Mrs. Neve. I'm glad because God is good all the time. All the time? God is good. Absolutely. And, you know, we're God's people now, so uh, we're, we're glad too, and we're rejoicing in that. And, uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of one of my favorite songs. W what song is that? It begins with a Z. <laughs> okay, go ahead. A uh, zippity doo da, zippity yay. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine coming my way. Zip. Bitty doo da, zippity yay, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It's the truth. It's actual. Everything is satisfactual. Zippity doo da, zippity yay. Praising the Lord for a wonderful day. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mr. Zebra. What a great song. Praising the Lord for a wonderful day, Mrs. Neve. Zippity doo da. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Hey, now, boys and girls, I know maybe that song was new to you, or, or maybe you've heard it before, but let's sing a song that I know all the boys and girls know. That's a good idea. But I'm thinking fix, first we better fix Thursday before it falls. Oh, yeah. Let's get that taken care of. We don't want that falling down. All righty. Hopefully, we've got Thursday securely fastened. Okay, uh, now the song I was thinking of was Praise Him, Praise Him, All Ye Little Children. That's right, we know that one. Um, Mr. Zebra, I'm just going to set you down here for a minute. And boys and girls, do you remember how that goes? Praise Him, Praise Him, All Ye Little Children. And the sign is like this, like you're patting little kids on the head, right? <laughs> and... Uh, the next part goes, God is love, God is love. You remember that one. There's three verses. The first one is praise him. The second verse is serve him. And the third verse is love him. So let's go ahead and sing it together. I'll be singing too. Thank you, Mr. Zebra. Praise the Lord. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Okay, here we go. You've got to sing with me. And Mr. Zebra. Okay. Praise him, praise him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Praise him, praise him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Serve him, serve him, all ye little children. God is love, God is love. Serve him, serve him, 
all ye little children. God is love. God is love. Love him, love him, all ye little children. God is love. God is love. Love him, love him, all ye little children. God is love. God is love. Praise the Lord. Great job. You too, Mr. Zebra. Oh, thank you. And you know when we were singing what it reminded me of, Mrs. Neve? What was that? It reminded me of the fourth thing to remember from kindergarten, to serve like Jesus. Serve him, serve him, all ye little children. Absolutely. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Zebra. Thank you. And Mrs. Neve, I was kind of wondering. What's that? Can I have a turn to play the money game? Oh, sure. Let's head on over. Okay, we're going to head on over. Uh, I'm going to have to unplug the computer and take us over there. Hopefully, I won't stop the camera. Oh, come along for the ride, Mrs. Neve. Okay, we'll set them right there. We need this. Okay, let's hope we make it over safely. Okay, we're going to get our mouse there. Try not to turn things off. Here we go. We on over to play the money game with Mr. Zebra. Okay, we will set our computer down right on the table. And in case you're wondering, oh, you probably can figure this out because you can see the whiteboard. But we're right on a spot where Andrew and Paisley sit. Try to get this so my core doesn't crushed. Okay, I think we've made it over. I made it over too, Mrs. Neve. Very good. Okay, let's get our mouse ready. Okay, so Mr. Zebra, I'm going to put you right here, but before I do anything else, I'm going to plug us back in so we don't run out of battery. Okay. Alrighty. Now, let's move this down a little bit. So we can see Mr. Zebra there. Okay, ready, Mrs. Neve. Okay, now for the money game, Mr. Zebra, uh, we are going to be taking with one, well, in your case, hoof, as many coins as you can out of our money bucket. Right. Hey, Mrs. Neve. What? Uh, there's some more coins up on the board. That's right. Before you actually start to play, we do need to review. Tabitha's amount that she got last time. Boys and girls, remember Tabitha got 91 cents when she played the money game. So let's just go ahead and check the amount she got to make sure it was accurate. I'm pretty sure we're good, but let's check it anyway. Uh, here's her quarters. You know, I'll stay down here, so there we go. Uh, we'll start with the quarters worth 25 cents, so we're going to count by 25s. Remember, 25, 50, 75, 100. Here we go. 25, 50, and then we pick it up by tens because we've got dimes next. We're at 50 cents in quarters, so 60, 70. Now we're to the nickels that are worth five cents. 75, 80. Now I know I have a set of 10 pennies there, which would be 10 cents, so I could go right from 80 to 90, and then 91. It works. 91 cents. So we'll drop these back in. That's good. And we'll get ready for Mr. Zebra to play. Oh boy, I've been waiting for this, Mrs. Neve. Okay. And we'll have to erase Tabitha's name and her amount. Hopefully we can get that erased well enough. That will work. Okay. Mr. Zebra. Let's, I think we're ready for you to play. We're going to tilt down the screen a little bit so people can see. Okay, I'm ready to dive right in, Mrs. Neve. Okay, go ahead. Alrighty, got it. Got it. Okay, I've got it. Very good. Now, what we're going to do, Mr. Zebra, the first thing you have to do is sort the coins. Okay, let's see. I'm going to start with the quarters. Uh, what do they look like? They look like this, Mr. Eagle, or not Mr. Eagle, Mr. Zebra. Yes, thank you very much. 
I was thinking about the eagle that's on the other side of some quarters. And uh, we've got George Washington on the front and Mr. Eagle on the back. Of course, remember some quarters do have other pictures on the back. Um, could be one of the state quarters, right? Okay. And, uh, okay, I'll find those quarters. I know what they look like. They all have George Washington on the front. That's easy to remember. He was our first president, right, Mrs. Neve? That's right. So the they put his picture on the quarter to honor him. Okay, I've got all my quarters. Now what do I do next? Uh, next we need to do, let's do the dimes next. Okay. And let's show the boys and girls what the dimes look like. Remember the dimes have Franklin Roosevelt on one side. He was one of our presidents. And it has the torch and the leaves there on the other side. And if you ever forget, just look down here at the bottom of the back side. It says one dime right on there. And how much are dimes worth again? How much, boys and girls? Mm-hmm. Ten cents. Okay, I'll find all the dimes. Uh, here we go, dime, 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 dime. Okay, I got all my dimes together, Mrs. Neve. What comes next? Let's do the nickels next. And we'll find the nickels to show the boys and girls. Whoops, Mrs. Neve. Sorry. Okay, we've got nickel here. Thomas Jefferson on one side and on your regular nickel we have Monticello which was his house uh, on the other side. Remember some nickels look a little bit different. You might have uh, Thomas Jefferson facing a little different way and there's some other backs to nickels too. You might have the, the shaking hand nickels, the Lewis and Clark nickels. Uh, you might have one with a buffalo on the other side. There's some others too but they always have Thomas Jefferson on one side. And how much are they worth? How much, boys and girls? Mm-hmm, five cents. So we'll be counting those cents by fives. Okay, I'll find those nickels. Ooh, I've got, I've got some. Okay, these brown ones, they must be the pennies. That's right, and the pennies are easy. We've been doing those a long time. Boys and girls, do you remember the name of the president on the penny? Mm-hmm, Abraham Lincoln. And on your regular penny, you've got the Lincoln Memorial on the other side. So there you go. That's your regular uh, penny. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, other pennies. They might have the shield, you know, on the other side. Some of the newer pennies have that. But they always have Abraham Lincoln. And they are worth how much? How much, Mr. Zebra? I know that one. One cent. You knew too, didn't you? Okay, Mr. Zebra, we've got all your coins sorted, and now it's time to put them up in the pocket chart. Okay, can you help me please, Mrs. Neve? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to tilt up the camera so you can see the pocket chart, and we'll start with the quarters, since all by themselves, uh, one quarter is worth 25 cents, which is more than a 10 cent dime or a 5 cent nickel. So let's start with our quarters, and we'll put them right in a row here. Okay, there we go. And next we'll do the dimes, since 10 cents is the next amount. We're going in order here, aren't we, from the greatest down to the least. Okay, so here's Mr. Zebra's dimes. We'll get them in a row. Here we go. All right, that's all of the dimes. Nickels next? Right. So we'll put his nickels that he got up here. And then pennies. Okay. Now this is unusual. Mr. Zebra, you didn't get as many pennies as some people get. That's okay. Oh yeah, it's okay. In fact, let's take a look at how many quarters did you get? Oh, uh, I got three quarters. Is that how many cents you got in quarters? No, no, that's not how many cents that I got in quarters. So how many cents did you get in quarters? Count by 25s, right? Right. Okay, 25, 50, 75 cents. Right. So let's get a marker, and right beside the quarters, we're going to put 75 cents because you got 75 cents in quarters. Right. Now, how about dimes, Mrs. Neve? Let's see how many dimes that he got. 
you got one, two, three, four, five, six dimes. Does that mean I got six cents? No, no, that's how many dimes you got. The dimes are worth 10 cents each, so we're gonna count the cents by tens. Oh, okay. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60 cents in dimes. Right, let's make a note. Dimes, and let's do another color just for fun. Dimes, he got 60 cents. So we have six in the tens place because remember we had six sets of tens, six dimes. So six in the tens place and then zero ones. I mean, we're not counting any of the others yet. We're just counting the cents in dimes. So zero ones, zero in the ones place, 60 cents. That's why you're counting by tens numbers always end in a zero because there's going to be zero ones. All right, nickels are next. Okay, nickels. Oh yeah, those are the ones with Thomas Jefferson, right? That's right. Let's see, I got one, two nickels. Two nickels. And since they're worth five cents each, that would be five, ten. Ten cents, right, Mrs. Neve? That's right. So let's write that down. He got ten cents in nickels. And how many cents, I should say, how many pennies did you get, first of all? Oh, uh, let's see, I got one, two, three pennies. And so how many cents did you get in pennies? Oh, that's easy. One, two, three cents, because pennies are worth one cent, so we count it by ones. Right. So he got, let's do another color. Mm, I'll grab the red. Three cents in pennies. Okay, now, Mrs. Neve, I want to know how many cents did I get all together? Okay, so we want to find out the total number of cents now, uh, and that's how many all together. How many cents you got in total, so now we're going to count that. Okay, here we go. We'll start with the quarters, and remember we're counting by 25s. 25, 50, 75. That's right, we had 75 cents in quarters. Now, here's a little trick. If you get to uh, the quarter amount, and it's not a counting by tens number. You know, if, if you get to 50, it's a counting by tens number. But 75, it's not a counting by tens number. It's a counting by fives number, isn't it? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So 75 is a counting by fives number. So just to make it easier when you're counting up the cents, we're gonna, we want to move that up to a counting by tens number. And the easy way to do that is with one of our nickels. We're going to take one of our nickels and go from 75 to 80. All right? So we're going to take this nickel to get to 80 cents. That's pretty complicated, Mrs. Neve. I know. You'll get the hang of it. So we've got one of these nickels. I'm just going to put it over here for now so we know that we're not going to count it again because if we count it twice, we won't have an accurate uh, amount here. So we went from 75 to 80. And now when we get to the dimes and we pick it up by tens, it'll be easier. We'll start at 80, 90, 100. That's one dollar, right? 110, 20, 30, 40. So, so far he's got 140 cents in the money game. That's a dollar 40, right? So now we'll pick it up with nickels. We're only going to count this one because we've already counted that one. So we had a dollar forty, a dollar forty-five. Since uh, nickels are worth five cents, and now we're going to pick it up by ones because we have pennies. A dollar forty-five, a dollar forty-six, a dollar forty-seven, a dollar forty-eight, a dollar forty-eight! Yay! I'm just a kind of zany sometimes. I know, you're a happy zebra too. I love it. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. <laughs> All right, $1.48. Can I write that down, Mrs. Neve? Sure. What color marker shall we use? Uh, let's do black, since I'm black and white, and white would not show up. I don't even think they make white markers. I don't think they do. Let's do black. Okay, so we're going to put Mr. Zebra. Mr. is M, R, and then in a, a little 
period there. It's not the end of a sentence. It's showing that we're abbreviating. An abbreviation is when you shorten it. I'm not writing out the whole word mister. If I did, it would look like this. Mi, M-I, then an S, miss, t, t, mister, er, E-R. So that's how it would look if I wrote out the whole word mister. Now, because people write that a lot because they're writing down names, they decided to abbreviate to make it shorter and easier. So they took the first letter and the last letter and did it that way, mister. And then the little dot shows that it's an abbreviation. Um, just to make it easier. Now you know. Mister and now zebra. Z! Yes. Don't forget the space. Okay. So leave a space and then an uppercase Z, because it's the first letter in his name. Z, E, Z, B, 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 R, B, R, there's our B, R special sound. Z, B, R, and it's A at the end. One of those times when A is sounding like a U, uh. Mr. Zebra, now you got a dollar forty-eight. That's right, Mrs. Neve. So we're going to use the dollar sign, because we have a dollar or more. That's the S with the line through it. And we'll put one, and then in, remember with the math, the dot's called a decimal point. A dollar, and then 48. Wow! This is really fun. I love the money game. This is so much fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Mr. Zebra. But I'm always going to put God first, not money. Money's just a useful tool. Right. No one can serve two masters. That's right, Mrs. Neve. Okay, so... We've got a dollar forty-eight. Now I'm going to slide your other nickel back over here, and let's take a look at our pocket chart here. Um, it's like a graph, remember? It is. So we can look at our graph here, a math picture, and see at a glance which um, which kind of coin did you get the most of, Mr. Zebra? I'm not talking about cents. I'm just talking about which coin. Did you get the most of? Uh, I got the most dimes. I can tell just by looking. Yeah, there's more dimes than any other coin. So he got the most in coins, or the most in dimes, rather. Um, how about in cents, though? Which coin did you get the most cents of? Which one of those numbers is the greatest? Uh, 75. 75 is bigger than these other numbers. Right. So in cents, quarters was the most. He got 75 cents in quarters. And then, of course, we added them all together. 75 plus 60 plus 10 plus 3 equals 148, or $1.48, because 100 cents is a dollar, remember? Oh, boy. Uh, this was fun. Thanks for letting me play the money game, Mrs. Neve. Oh, you are welcome, Mr. Zebra. Thank you. Okay, boys and girls. Thanks for helping me play, too. This was fun. It was. And remember, God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. And always remember, serve like Jesus. Amen. Hey, boys and girls, we will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Zippity-doo-dah.